Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane. Today I'm doing a realistic rebuild of the Atlanta Falcons. And boy, did they look bad week one against the Philadelphia Eagles. Matt Ryan has to go. We are going to stick with them for the year because they're definitely going to do that. But they're one of those teams that seems like they're trying to rebuild, but also trying to win. So then they do neither. It's kind of a weird situation because I do like a lot of these pieces with Ridley, Gage, Kyle Pitts. Offensive line's not that great, but there's a few pieces maybe we can work with. Then on defense, you like Grady Jarrett. You like A.J. Terrell, who they drafted a few years ago. You like Deion Jones, a Loken. But overall, not a good defense whatsoever. They had Dante Fowler, Deron Harmon, Moreau, Sheffield, Oliver. There's just not a lot of good pieces on this team. And it's going to be a long rebuild. We know that going in. I don't know. We're not going to cut Matt Ryan right now, but I don't know what the cap hit would look like anyways. A penalty of $67 million, Which means it's not going to be pretty after this year. And we definitely can't trade him away. Maybe we could trade him away, but probably not. It's going to be very interesting. But let's go to the midseason mark and see how we're doing. Now, before we go any further, if you could hit that like button and comment down below, it helps my videos reach more people. And I'd really appreciate that. So if you could do that, it would mean a ton to me. Now, I did force the week one loss, but at the midseason mark, we're two and four. This is a very tough division, of course, with Brady and the Bucks, Jameis and the Saints, and even the Panthers are five and two. Panthers, in my opinion, didn't look fantastic week one against the Jets, who don't really have a defense, but that's besides the point. There's really nothing other than Gage and maybe a Loken that I really want to bring back. We have $40.5 million. Gage is almost a slam dunk number two guy, 75 overall, so that's easy. Oliver, we're going to wait on. Harris, going to wait on. Sharp's up there. Hayden Hurst, nope. Uh, but a Loken. Probably not how you say his name. I get that, but we're going to make him a cheap offer. Four years, that's good. And then cool will bring back. We are four and thirteen at the end of the season. That's atrocious. The Bucks are fourteen and three. Makes sense. The Panthers twelve and five. I don't know about that one. And then the Saints nine and eight. I want to see if that gives us the first overall pick. Probably not, but probably two or three, which would be good. Or maybe it will. No, we have the second overall pick behind the football team, who just lost Ryan Fitzpatrick. Now that hasn't put put in the game quite yet, but that is a big time loss. Let's take a look at Matt Ryan. He has 5,000 yards. I just saw him. Yep. 36 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. That's not bad, but I mean, I just can't. I just can't. You know, Mike Davis, 800 yards, 14 touchdowns. That's all right. 14 touchdowns is great, obviously, but the yard's not awesome. Ridley, 110 catches, 1,600 yards, 10 touchdowns. Up to X Factor. Gage, 1,000 with eight. Pitts, 900 with seven. Didn't really see much from Pitts week one, which I mean, it's a rookie. That's okay. Jones, 121 for tackles, 109 for a Loken. 17 sacks for Grady Jarrett. Pretty good. Six for Fowler, five for Kaminsky. Interceptions, four for Moreau, three for Jones, two for Harmon, and a lot of ones. We're 13th in offensive yards. Now, of course, the running back did nothing other than score touchdowns. Yeah, that's the problem. Defensive yards, quarterback, Lamar Jackson, MVP, Mahomes, Barkley, Brady, Darnold up there, Kamara, McCaffrey, Watson, Coach of the Year, Kyle Shanahan. NFC offensive player. Are we going to have any of our guys? Yes, we have Matt Ryan at eight. Defensive player. Grady Jarrett at three with 17 sacks. Offensive rookie. Kyle Pitts at three. Makes sense. Nothing else. Defensive rookie. Richie Grant. That's a safety. That's not bad. For some reason, I feel like Matt Ryan's going to have like three XP. He has zero. Okay. That's good. Gage two. Ridley three. Pitts with the X factor. We knew that, but five XP. Hennessy with six is not bad. Three for Lindstrom. So we could definitely work with both of those. Then on defense, Jones 2, Jarrett 2, probably should go up to X-Factor as well. Terrell with 3. We have a few pieces. A few. But I, it's that's going to be a long rebuild. We know that. Of all the teams in the South, the Panthers won the Super Bowl, beating the Broncos of all teams in the West, 30-24, and Hassan Reddick, Super Bowl MVP. I have a few questions. That's it. Just a few. Number one, though, let's start off with how. So it was Teddy Bridgewater versus Sam Darnold. Bridgewater with the revenge game from the Panthers, if you think about that, but couldn't get the job done. I'm secretly hoping Matt Ryan retired. I guess it's not a secret if I say it, but nobody's gone. Brady's not gone. Who else is in that division that's old? Can't really, I mean, Gronk could retire in theory. Now, Koo turned us down. Hurst, Harmon, Moreau. Moreau being 28 years old at start of element's kind of good. He wanted more money, so we'll give him more money. We have 7.29. So we're going to spend nothing in free agency. I think I might let Moreau go and bring back Isaiah Oliver. Don't think we even have the money for Isaiah Oliver. 
We do not. At this point, I am going to make an offer to Moreau just to see what it looks like. It's not going to work. Don't even have the money. That's kind of what I figured. And we're not doing that. The only real thing I want to do in free agency is sign a corner. And I'm going to go, okay, I was going to go for an older guy. But Gary on Conley for three years, he's probably not going to take this offer. We can't even make the offer. Now that I think about it, hold on. Matt Ryan is a $42 million cap hit. This team is so screwed. It's really unbelievable. I'm going to cut Keith Smith so maybe we can offer a little bit more money to Conley so we'll actually come to our team. And then I, I also have to, we could put Matt Ryan on the trade block right here, right? I'm going to put him on the trade block. If somebody wants him, he can have him. Basically for free. We got rejected by Conley. I suppose that makes sense. And there's been no offers for Matt Ryan. That's right. Since we're starting at week one, it's the same draft class. So we know Kerry Sharp is good. But the football team had the first overall pick. If he makes it to two, I'm going to take him. Yeah, there was no chance he was going to make it to two. I'm not going Elton Price this early. I'd almost be better off trading back. Because we have Matt Ryan. I'd like to keep these somewhat realistic. But we have Matt Ryan. Second overall pick. There is a quarterback that somebody might be intrigued by. Not me. Definitely not me. That's number one next year, but that's not a guarantee. I want two ones if somebody's going to trade up. Nobody's going to trade up. Eh. Do I just play like the weird, like, hey, let's trade back a pick and get some picks? I guess. Are they trading up to get price? That's the question. A left guard. Interesting approach. Is it going to be one in ones and ones now? No. So we're just going to take a player at this point. And the answer is right end. Will Trailer. We know it. 77 normal, which is insane. It's absolutely insane. He looks like a beast. So we do have two second round picks. We have to keep that in mind because I do want to get Randy Taylor. I know it's a little bit of a cheat code at this point. And I wouldn't mind getting a running back or a safety. I'm just not sure which one. Or even a defensive tackle in Gilliard. Maybe we go Gilliard. Is that bad? Could probably get Gilliard a little bit later on. You know what? Let's go Jamarcus Fulcher. 74 normal development. Looks really good, but normal development. Now here's the decision. Do we go Randy Tiller, who we know has star development, or do we mix it up a little bit? Because we know we have Hennessy. So you know what? I'm going to go Sergio Gilliard. 75 hidden development. Think that's a little bit better use of our pick, even though... A center would help. Don't get me wrong. I feel like Lawton's probably the pick. Do we have two thirds? We don't. But I'm going to go running back Teddy Foster because we have Mike Davis. 74 hidden development. Love it with 88 speed. Not the fastest guy in the world. Possession catch though. I can't believe we're still trotting out Matt Ryan with who is Franks? Felipe Franks. I wanted to be Frank Franks, but of course it's not. Ridley is up to X Factor. I'd like Foster to start, but that would involve cutting Mike Davis, which might hurt us. Oh, no, that'll save us some money. So get rid of him so we can have our rookie starting. Let's change. Nope, nope, wrong guy. Let's change that. Hennessy's not starting for some reason. Makes no sense whatsoever. All right, so the offensive line is passable other than left guard. We have Gage still with star development. Pitts. Then on defense, we have Richie Grant. We have Fulcher. Terrell Gilliard starting. Trailer starting. All right, I think we're good. I still think we might get trade offs from Matt Ryan, so I am going to go week by week. But if not, I'm going to go straight to the midseason. In the division with the Super Bowl champs, Panthers, with way better teams than the Saints and Buccaneers ahead of us. We're 1-5. and five. At least we still have Matt Ryan. What a good decision they made. And I can't get rid of him. I might be able to after the season. But as of right now, I can't get rid of him. Nobody wanted to trade for him, which I get. Don't get me wrong. I do get that. Grady Jarrett, Lindstrom are going to bring back. But this team's just a mess. A total and complete mess. And there's no other way of looking at it. Chris Lindstrom, sure. 48.1. Sheffield, Kaminsky, I don't want anybody else down here. 4-13 and 13 again. Saints 11-6. Panthers 10-7. The Bucks 7-10. No chance the Bucks would go 7-10. I don't care what their team looks like. There's no chance with Tom Brady on that team. We are number two pick again. Awesome. And the Dolphins are ahead of us because Tua isn't that great. Let's be fair. Let's call a spade a spade. So the Panthers made it. The Bucks did not, which makes sense, but the Saints did. Okay. So we could still have a winner from our division. I don't know if that's like a good thing to even say. Trevor Lawrence is up there. Brady, Mahomes, of course. 
Brady, 5,300 yards, 38 touchdowns, 7 and 10. Makes sense. Matt Ryan, 4,800 yards, 31 and 18. That's passable. Foster, the rookie, 721, 9 touchdowns. Okay. Ridley, 1,400 yards, 10 touchdowns. Gage, 1,100 with 6 on 94 catches for both of them. 97 for Kyle Pitts, 913, 7 touchdowns. We have to find a quarterback this year. Alokin, 129. Deion Jones, 108. Sack total, 7 for Trailer. That's good to see. 6 for Jarrett, 5 for Fowler. Interceptions, 2 for Grant. Where's everybody we drafted? Gilliard, a sack and a half, 36 tackles. Was it Hawkins? Did I go by him and I missed him? Where's Fulcher? There he is. Of course, right under him. 69 tackles. Hey, hey, with a sack. 21st in offensive yards, which makes no sense. 28th in defensive yards. That makes a lot of sense. Lamar Jackson, MVP. Nothing, but you have Josh Allen. You have Elton Price, Josh Jacobs. Apparently, the Saints don't want Ian Book. Robert Saleh, Salah. I don't know how to say his name exactly. Coach of the year. Offensive player. Surprised Matt Ryan's not up there, to be completely fair. Defensive player, Khalil Mack. Nothing. We're basically non-existent. There's a running back, because that's a given. Defensive rookie. There's trailer for Gillian and Fulcher. Okay. I mean, I can work with that. We had hidden development running back, hidden development defensive tackle. So Foster has star development, 6 XP, but he's losing four at the moment. So he's going to be an 80 after one season, which is good. Hennessy, five. Lindstrom, two. Pitts, five. Ridley, three. Gage, two. Really just need a quarterback. Gilliard, five. Star development. And Fulcher has two. The Ravens beat the Saints 34-28. And if the Ravens play like they did on Monday night, there is no chance. Lose it to the Raiders in the weirdest overtime of all time. Where I guess somebody bet 100K on the Raiders money line to win 140K. Imagine the roller coaster ride he went through in the, on the, the overtime. Would have been crazy. And then I saw another bet where a guy bet $72 to win 123000 And he needed the Raiders money line to win at the end. I mean, I'd be losing my mind. Completely. Matt Ryan, please, oh please, just retire. Why not? Why does he have to make this so difficult? I don't want him anymore. We don't want you anymore down here in Atlanta. You were good for a few seasons. <laughs> it's kind of insulting to say a few seasons. You almost won a Super Bowl. Almost. I don't know what that gets you. Nothing. You can hold up a banner like the Colts did. If you want. I mean, who am I to say? I don't want to upgrade the player. Now, the most important question we need answered. I could finally save some money. Thank God. So we have $60 million to spend. Tyreek's up there. We don't want Denzel Ward is up there. Who we do want. And I'm going to throw money at him because obviously we've been a bad team. So we're going to you know, go over the top, offer him a bunch of money that he can't turn down. He could turn it down. But why would you if it's that much money? What? What? <laughs> AJ Brown might be on our team. I'm just saying. Jamel Dean's up there. That's also just another. If we got two corners. And I think we are actually fine at receiver. Even though A.J. Brown's sitting there. Because, like, if you're going to go A.J. Brown, why not go Tyree Kill? That's kind of my thought process. Let's offer a little bit of money there. 100 points. Beats out the Bengals, which is good. Max Crosby, who looked fantastic last night. But that doesn't make sense for our team. Callahan, Madison. Eh, I'm not really seeing much up here. Unless you go, like, David DeCastro for a one-year deal. Save us about $21 million for the draft for anything that happens. I think that'll be good. All right, let's advance. I have to imagine we'll get everybody we wanted. Perfect. Perfect. All right, we desperately need a quarterback. There's one up there that says Michael Graves. Of course, the Dolphins need a quarterback. I don't know if they'll take one, though. Apparently, Michael Graves isn't the answer, which is interesting. Sidney Harris, maybe... David Larson doesn't seem half bad. Neither does Nathan Kinney. So we cannot trade up to one. We could trade up to one, but we're not going to trade up to one. Look at the Lions. They have pick one, three, four. They have five and six back to back. They went with Michael Graves. Okay. I mean, we have to take one. And if I was going to take one, I think as much as Larson looks good, I think Sidney Harris is probably the answer. Oh, man. A minus short accuracy. A break sack. Which means deep and medium accuracy could be B pluses. But then this one implies that short accuracy 
It could also be a B plus to be fair, but it could be like a B or B B minus. I'm gonna go David Larson, 75 hidden development, rank 10, 90 throw power, 79 deep accuracy, 80 medium, 84 short, 91 speed. Woo. In the second round, we're gonna take left outside linebacker Brandon Rudd, 74 hidden, perfect, rank 15. Perfect. Coverage linebacker. Love it. So I changed our scheme to a spread offense to help out our new quarterback in Larson. Also makes the scheme fit for Foster, for Kyle Pitts, the Castro, Hennessy, Matthews. I think that'll help us out. I'm not sure what it's going to do to Ridley engage. Going to have to wait and see. Then on defense, actually looking a lot better. What is our defense rate? An 83. That's a little insulting, but it is what it is. Rudd starting left outside linebacker. The computer must have drafted Clark and I missed it last season. But we have Ward, Dean, Terrell, Williams at corner. Trailer, 78 overall. Thought he might have went up a little bit more than that, but it is what it is. Grant, 76 overall. I just think, like, we should start going places, right? In theory, I hope. I sound very reassuring, right? So this isn't bad. We're in second place or tied for second place with the Buccaneers at 3-4. and four. Panthers, 6-1. and one. Saints, 1-5. and five. So there's still a chance we can make the playoffs, which would be fantastic right off the start. Now, Deion Jones, I think we'll bring back. Terrell will bring back. Hennessy will bring back. Davidson, we won't. Walker, we won't. Chris Jones, we won't. I don't even know. We actually we probably should have a lot of money, right? 92.9, I'd say so. I have a question. Am I being pranked? We're 4 and 13? 4 and 13 again. I understand we're in a good division. Don't get me wrong. But we can't win more than four games with a way better quarterback than Matt Ryan. We have the second overall pick again. Might have to name this this video. We have the second overall pick in every single year. I have to look at our schedule. Because I feel like we lost the rest of the games after the midseason. No, we beat the Lions. Woohoo! That kind of took away our first overall pick. But who am I to say? This is really, really aggravating. 4,200 yards, 24, and 23. What are you talking about? Foster, 880, 10 touchdowns. I guess we're going to fix the scheme. Ridley, 1,200 yards, 4 touchdowns. Gage, 970 with 10. Pitts, 800 with 6. This is crazy. Deion Jones, 120 for tackles. 103 for Alokin. Sack totals, 8 for Rudd. That's awesome to see. 7.5 for Jarrett. 6 for Trailer. Interceptions, 2 for Terrell. Dean Fulcher, 1 for Denzel Ward. Crazy. I really am blown away. Rodgers MVP for the Bears. That's the biggest FU tour I've ever seen. But it is what it is. Those Matt, no Matt Ryan. Big surprise. Coach of the year, Matt Nagy. Offensive player. Nothing, of course. Defensive player, Khalil Mack. Yeah. Offensive rookies, Larson. Oh, my God. Quincy at three. Defensive rookie, Rudd's going to take it home. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The only hope is that he has superstar X Factor. Which he does not, 7 XP, does get him up to an 82 overall, which, that's good. Don't get me wrong. A lot of players have XP points, so we're going in the right direction. Rudd has Superstar. It's just like, 4-13? and 13? The Cowboys beat the Jaguars 28-16. Jaguars could be the Texans, but, you know, they can make it to the Super Bowl. That could happen in a few years. I'm just joking, but... I'm mostly just annoyed. Now, I believe we're good because I don't want to bring back to Castro. I don't want to bring back Jake Matthews, Davidson, Walker, Hawkins. Yeah, we are perfectly fine, which should leave us. Oof, forgot about Frank Franks. Should leave us with a good amount of money. We have $56.6 million. Don't really know what we have to work on other than the offensive line, but, you know. So I made offers to Jonathan Taylor because Foster's really not living up to his first round pick or second round pick whenever we took him. Darnell Mooney to be our number three guy. Taylor Lewan, who did not look good against the Cardinals. DeCastro, Pert. Yes, I'm going to bring back David DeCastro. Bring in a veteran presence on the offensive line. Hopefully, that'll solidify the offensive line, which will be good. I still don't know what to do about Larson. We got everybody, but of course, of course, Jonathan Taylor. Why would he accept the contract offer? That, I do not know. I threw crazy money at him. I guess we're just rolling with Foster. So we have the second overall pick. The Lions had the first overall pick and took a quarterback. We're not going to do that anyways. We're going to run with Larson. Deal with Larson. Whatever you want to call it. And I really just don't know which way to go. We don't really need corner help, but Austin Cooper looks so good. And then there's BJ Carson. I think I'm going to go Austin Cooper. Scheme fit. 7-1 combine. 77, rank 3, hidden development. It's a good pick. So with our third year in a row, second round, second pick... 
It's a lot of good options, but I'm going to go. Um, no, no, I'm in. I want to go DeAndre Brown, right tackle. 72 hidden development. Oh, really good. 90 strength, 76 run block, 77 pass block. Really can't ask really for much better. In the third round, I took a left tackle, Luke Rivers, 70 overall hidden development. Not as good as the last guy, but of course took him in the third round, but that's solid. So we're an 84 overall team. I switch back our scheme, our playbook. So we're back to normal. See if that'll do anything. I'm going to make Brown start the rookie, but not Rivers because we have a veteran above him. So I think that'll make more sense. Perth, there's almost no point of having him on the team at this point, but it'll be a solid backup. We're good at every other position, which is good. I wish we had Jonathan Taylor. Then on defense, we're four deep at corner. Trailer's up to start of element. Richie Grant and Fulcher we could replace, but... I think with just this year and next year left, I don't think it's really a big need at the moment. Maybe if we go into the draft and we see somebody or free agent, we'll pick him up. But we just need Larson to, you know, show up. I really don't want to go 4-13 again. Okay, I'm optimistic. We're 4-2 at the midseason, tied with the Saints. Bucks are 5-2, and two, Panthers are 2-5. and five. Now, of course, we could lose 11 straight games almost like last year and go 4-13 and 13 again. And almost at this point, I think that'd be a little bit funnier for the video. But I really don't want to go 4-13 and 13 again. We're going to bring back Kyle Pitts. Richie Grant, we're going to bring back. And that's going to be it. I don't really know what we have left over for money. Oh, 54.4. That's easy enough. He's only 23. That's scary. That's very, very scary. Give him a seven-year deal. Okay. We made the playoffs. I'm happy. We're 11-6. and six. We're playing against the 8-9 49ers. So there is some hope. Let's see. Oh, Larson's up there. 5,000 yards, 38 touchdowns. Please just have low interceptions. That's all I'm asking from you. 104 passer rating, 16 a little high, but I'll take that. It's a great season. It's a fantastic season. Foster, wish it was Taylor, 876, 10 touchdowns. Ridley, 104 catches, 1,300 yards, 9 touchdowns. Awesome. Pitts, 97, 921, 8 touchdowns. Gage, 850 with 5. Mooney, 840 with 8. Not bad. Jones, 125 tackles, 120 for Alokin. Sack totals, 10 for Trailer. Love it. 8 for Gilliard. Love that as well. 7.5 for Jarrett. Dropping off. Interception. Remember when he had 17 year one? I missed that. Interceptions, four for Ward, three for Jones, two for Loken, two for Dean, one for Terrell, and one for Fulcher. We're six in offensive yards. Dan Campbell, head coach of the Saints, makes sense. Defense 23rd. All right. That doesn't make me feel good, but McCaffrey MVP. Really? Two is up there, but we're not up there. Coach of the year. We are at number three, which is good. NFC offensive player. We have Larson at 7. That's good to see. Defensive player, probably nothing. I stand corrected. Alokin at 10. Offensive rookie, Ruben, Wheaton. Don't know who they are, but they're up there. Defensive rookie, Woods. Also don't know who that is. Because we drafted the two tackles, and we drafted the corner with hidden development. Brown has star. Where's the other one? If they cut him, okay, I was going to say. There's Rivers, hidden development, 2 XP. I was about to be pretty mad. Cooper Superstar 4. Love it. Love it. Okay, we need safeties. But, I mean, we're in the playoffs. So I, I, let's not even focus on that. Let's see. Can we beat the 8-9 San Francisco 49ers who are an 88 overall team with 86 defense? We did. We beat them 34-7. to Defense showing up big. Now, division matchup. The 91 overall Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I have to imagine they don't have Brady anymore. It doesn't matter. 35-21. And now we're playing the Saints. I forget who they have at quarterback. It's not Ian Book. Oh, it's Elton Price or whatever that guy's name was from year one. We're in there. Okay, let's hop in. Let's hope we don't blow it. That'd be nice. Now we are playing the Chiefs. Let's be totally fair. So we could totally lose this game, but I'm hoping we don't. They scored right off the bat, but then we matched them. Then they kicked the field goal. We're up 14-10. Up by one. Come on. Yes, up by four. Doesn't matter. They're up by three at halftime. Yes, up by four again. Made a stop on the goal line or they missed a field goal. Something. I have no idea what's going on. We're down by three. No. No. Why do we always blow it? Who are you? I don't understand who that guy is. That's supposed to be the head coach probably. And Andy Reid probably retired. Four interceptions for Patrick Mahomes. And we lost the game. Larson, 2-1. and one. Nothing for running backs. Pitts, touchdown. Harmon, touchdown. Two for Tolbert. One for Gage. Man. We have one year left. I hate that. I really don't know who would win the Super Bowl MVP. It'd have to be defensive player. 
It's still Mahomes. There's no chance. Two touchdowns, four interceptions. Just give it to the guy. That almost seems what it was. And I think we're good in our own free agents with one year left. We might have lost somebody. I don't know. Maybe DeCastro. Taylor Lewan is gone. Okay. Not a big deal. We do have Rivers that could step right in and start right away. But I think we're good. Unless we bring back DeCastro. But I'm going to wait on that. What do we have left for money? 36.8. Zach Martin is a free agent. Aaron Donald, Hopkins, Armstead. Rivers has star development, by the way. Let's get Zach Martin on the team. And let's throw a bunch of money at him. 114 should be enough. It is enough. He's still going to turn us down, probably. Travis Etienne. Actually, what is... Oh, Foster's an 89. Huh. Maybe I won't bring him in. I was thinking about it, but... Nah. Let's bring in Justin Simmons for two years. That'll be fine. I know we have Richie Grant, but I'm trying to you know, win a Super Bowl. That'd be nice. What do we have left for strong safeties? Cisco. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm all set. Is there anybody else I can swoop on in, steal them? Stefan Tewitt doesn't make sense for the team. But I'm going to do it anyways. Two years, sure. That's what I want to pay a 32-year-old guy. Two more years. Of course Zach Martin turned us down. This game is so annoying. I should have went back in and got to Castro. I could probably still do it. We got Justin Simmons on the team. That's good. I, I mean, I need, desperately need to get David Acasio on this team. We have $20 million, and I don't know what to do with it. ETN's gone, right? Yeah, we get Eddie Jackson. At this point, we'd be picking up a player just to pick up a player, and it's just, it doesn't make sense. We got DeCastro good. I'm really not sure what to do with this pick. I'm about to take Ben George just because I don't have a better option. Like, I can get a defensive tackle, but he's never going to see the light of day. Does seem pretty good. Free safety. We just signed Simmons. And we brought back, uh, why am I forgetting? Gibson? It's not Gibson. Grant. I don't know why I thought it was Gibson. There's really nothing here. So, I'm going to take the receiver in Ben George. Okay. Larson's up to superstar. So, that's big in our final year. We're an 87 overall team. Brown is playing left tackle as a 78 overall. Then we'll have Perp playing right tackle. I think that'll be all right. Simmons. Eh, we're in good shape. You know, Taylor's not starting. Trailer's not starting, but that's okay. We made the playoffs again with a wild card spot. We're playing against the 49ers, but this time they're 11 and 6 instead of 9 and 8. So not the best situation to be in. Jameis Winston with 5,000 yards. That makes sense, but 27 touchdowns? I guess that also makes sense. Larson, 4,100 yards, 29 and 18. What happened? We lose Taylor to Lawan and we fall apart. 1,000 yards, 10 touchdowns for Foster. I think that's his first season over 1,000. Ridley, 1,000 with 7. Pitts, 850 with 4. Gage, 850 with 8. Not great. 106 tackles, not great. Sack totals, 8.5 for Jarrett, not great. 8 for Rudd, 7.5 for Tewitt, 6.5 for Gilliard. Interceptions, 3 for Grant, 2 for Jones, Terrell, Simmons, and then a few ones. 29th in offensive yards. Mixon MVP, who did have a good week one. What? I, I thought I saw one of my guys up there, but I guess not. Coach of the year, Urban Meyer. We are at five. NFC offensive player, no chance. Defensive player, Brian Burns. Interesting. No chance again. Whoa, what was that? Is that three Giants in a row? Jayon Brown, Brian Poole, Dexter Lawrence. Pretty good. Offensive rookie. I mean, come on. We have Boston. Defensive rookie. Nothing. All right, let's upgrade the team. Let's see if we can take down the 49ers. They're 11 and six. Might not go so well. Didn't think so. 28 to 14. What changed in a year that we can't beat the same team we dominated last year? I just, I never understand that kind of stuff. Who? Trey Lance, 358, 3 and 2. Larson, only one touchdown. Touchdown, Spillman. Ayuk, 135 with a touchdown. Mooney, Samuel, Hamler. Interesting. KJ Hamler, Debo Samuel, George Kittle, Brandon Ayuk. Doesn't get much better than that. The Jaguars just can't beat the Dallas Cowboys, who won 31-28. to Gilmore, an old friend from an old video. Interesting. All right, let's take one final look at our team before we end this video. Because we drafted a lot of good players. I mean, we had the second overall pick for three straight years. So we have Larson, we drafted Foster. We drafted Rivers. We drafted Brown, DeCastro. Did not retire. He's still there. On defense, we drafted Fulcher, Rudd. The computer drafted Clark. We drafted Gilliard, we drafted Trailer, we drafted Cooper. A lot of good players, but that is going to be it for this video. Hit the like button down below, the subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.